Well, history has been made. The city of Bemidji has officially proclaimed October 10th as Indigenous Peoples Treaty Day. Yet community leaders say there's still work to be done. And Brenda Mack has a recap on last night's panel discussion. This is the time of awakening. A week after Bemidji recognized Indigenous Peoples Treaty Day, community members expressed mixed reactions to the proclamation. I think there's still a lot of work to be done around the language so that it really truly reflects the values. I'm not just a contributor to American society. Community leaders say they are thrilled with progress, but there isn't enough acknowledgement of their history, which directly impacts current situations for tribes like Standing Rock and their fight to protect their land. They're concerned about their own welfare, how they're going to make it through the next 10 years. There's a lot of poverty and hardship. That's why community leaders held a panel discussion to open up a conversation in moving forward and creating change. There's so much more that we have to learn and so much that we have come through to get to this point. Standing up for generations to come. We know who we, who we are, we know where we belong, and that's another important thing for our kids. Audience members asked panelists on their top priorities. They agreed solidarity is key. That's the top priority, is taking mm -hmm. care of the people. Looking at, right. the, looking at the ones who can't take care of themselves. Right. So having this strong group of educated women together, it's just beautiful to be here and, and see the strength of our nation. Community leaders say they will continue working with the city to improve current situations. In Bemidji, Brenda Mack, Lakeland News. More than 100 people attended the panel last night. The BSU American Indian Resource Center will hold more events like these in celebration of Native American Heritage Month. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.